Hello YouTube, welcome to Droid Freaks. I'm Gideon to show you a review of the Samsung Touchwiz launcher for gingerbread OSs and above. So let's get started. Basically, first what I want to um, do is give credits and thanks to the developer who has made this room, uh, this uh, launcher possible for gingerbread and above devices. So thank you to him. Uh, his uh, page is given below so I recommend you check that out for more stuff from him so as you can see it's a real refreshed uh, exact uh, Samsung TouchWiz launch it really feels um, you know like the launcher um, but there are many modifications the best part well i'm gonna get really excited a uh, gingerbread didn't uh, allow widgets from here but suddenly it comes it's really really awesome i i have gingerbread just to give you all a quick look as you can see my model number is the micromax a52 and my android version is 2.3.6 now gingerbread uh, was taught uh, to have um uh, like um, it's thought to have um, not allowed widgets uh, on the tab screen because they had some problems but this developer had taken that uh, problem as a challenge and overcome the challenge and put the widgets tab here it looks awesome and unique it is just like wow it's just mind-blowing uh, like because I've really not seen any um, um, launcher like this. It's totally different, totally new, totally awesome. So basically, I think so. That's what I really wanted to show you as well. And if you go to your app store, you can see that most many of the icons are really to the same um, same icons which we'll get on a Jelly Bean uh, Samsung TouchWiz. Uh, except for a few like the settings and all but that doesn't matter because it really is very nice um yeah i think so that is it when you go to your options you can sort the icons which you will not actually get uh in a touch with launcher but this is just one extra you can hide icons and as you can see i have hid my super user um just like that and i've also hid my other original stock launcher and also you can uninstall applications now these these are the applications we can which you can install and this is also available for for the actual uh, jelly bean samsung touchwiz launcher so you can see that we can uh, just remove it so it really looks perfectly the same um, except for some uh, things like uh, the dock does not come in your app drawer so that's one uh, small thing which which a small flaw which you can uh, detect very easily and see that is not the Samsung Touchwiz launcher. Um, though it is not uh, the launcher, but it really looks exactly like it. Now you all may have come to this video thinking that this guy is going to be showing the original one. Well, I'm sorry to say this is not the original one. Um, it could be but it has been modded uh, just for gingerbread users and yeah and that's been done just because uh, it had to work for gingerbread otherwise it wouldn't it would have a lot of bugs and glitches and it wouldn't work at all that's what I suppose but um, as you can see it really looks exactly like the Samsung TouchWiz launcher uh, many people uh, will automatically say uh, that uh, this is a uh, this really looks like the Samsung launcher uh, because most of, of most of them won't look at it as a Samsung phone and a Samsung launcher but yeah it really looks nice so i'm just going to give you a brief up and an overview on the overview on the whole launcher so when you go to your desktop screen this is your desktop screen and it really is 
very smooth and if you see this it's just like a cube and you can see it's like glass glass and the edge of the glass it really looks awesome and if you see it just glistens and it goes away it really looks nice anyway going to your options you can add widgets or you could just do by touching uh, the desktop or you could just go to your app drawer and see your widgets which will pop up like that looks very nice next is wallpapers you can even take wallpapers from um, the inbuilt wallpaper settings as you can see here there are all wallpapers right here there are many of them and if anyone has seen the Samsung Galaxy S4 live wallpaper screen you'll see that this is there so yeah you get uh, this wallpaper installed when you flash the file you can even take teams like this is my team uh, but you can take many more uh, so yeah and also you can have a screen editor where you can uh, choose uh, how many screens you want in this case you can see that uh, normally Samsung just allows well no sorry nothing um, yeah so you can remove and adjust uh, to your heart's content and also you can go to your desktop settings where this is the launcher settings so you can restore you can back up your uh, whole launcher uh, files uh, so if you have made any changes you can revert back to those uh, earlier made changes and you can even vibrate there's a vibrator in which when you long long click it vibrates uh, you won't feel the vibrate but I'll tell you what uh, how that happens suppose you want to put music to your desktop you'll have to long click it and put it here I don't know if you have felt that vibrate but it did for me um, what else let's see so you can go there and you can shake wallpapers to change uh, sorry you can shake your phone <laughs> to change wallpaper so I'll do that right now and you'll also hear something else that was not me that was the phone uh, interest interestingly uh, that's what happens when you shake to change wallpapers um, yeah that's that's what happens I guess the developer had just put that for a just a I don't know uh, Easter egg or something but yeah so let's go back uh, to the desktop settings you can even put the desktop slide like um, let's see what we want let's make it flip uh, so this is the desktop and you can see it flips I'll put one example right here there we go and you can see it flips and you can put many more of that same way to the app list or your app draw slide you can put any random or stack it as you can see this is your stacking you can stack it so yeah or you can just do random and get many different things at different times and yeah i think so that's it there's nothing much about the developer in this uh specific app so yeah i think so that's it and wait let me that's it for the desktop and now for the app app draw you go here which the same like the Samsung touch is and you can see your app draw looks exactly the camera the browser the phone the messaging the context the clock the gallery the calculator the calendar the music the radio and yeah I think so that's it it really looks amazing it really looks the same it looks very nice the skin really fits on it uh, you'll have some problems uh, with the icons there is one icon patch fix in the download uh, downloads uh, page you can go there and check it out um, as you can see not all of the uh, letters of the name of the application fit so just cause because it is a bit more bigger than usual so yeah and then you can the best part is the widgets which you can see all the widgets which you install come right here so yeah um you can put uh, the play store widget oh i don't want to do that let's see my picture frame um 
okay yeah, I just okay this works so you can see uh, yeah uh, you can see that it really merges in uh, with the OS but sadly there are some uh, few problems like um, oh God. like as you can see the I'm sorry it's a bit uh, buggy right now um, the whole widget is reduced a, uh, to a smaller size uh, as you can see it's not the whole screen uh, not the whole screen it's not the whole edges that it is occupying it's just taking a small space and the bad part about this is that you cannot resize the widget so you can easily know that this is not the original stock uh, Samsung Galaxy S3 launcher but I don't feel that it is necessary to resize unless um, the developer will uh, add one fix for it and uh, he'll update the launcher so yeah and you can add widgets and I think so that is it there's nothing much uh, whereas you can go to your applications and then your uh, options where you can sort your icons which is not available uh, actually in the uh, original stock uh, touchways launcher you can hide icons which is available in the stock based launcher as you can see I've uh, hid my Zim launcher and my super user application you can even uninstall applications by options and uninstall this as well is seen in the original stock uh, um, Samsung uh, Samsung touchways launcher so yeah that's really it there's nothing much more um yeah i think so that's it so thanks for watching i hope this really helped you um please make sure that this is not the actual original stock um launcher but what i feel is that uh, the developer has taken the stock launcher and added his modifications so that we can enjoy you know the samsung stock launcher uh, with some few tweaks added so it can work on gingerbread users and above so thank you for watching i hope this helped you um if it did i really will love if you would give me a like below because it really helps me to make more videos for y'all guys and uh, it really helps my team to make more videos for y'all um yeah i think so that's it um yeah so at the end of the video uh just um to talk to y'all about uh about uh, me not being there on youtube um basically so many of y'all were asking uh, me what happened uh, to my youtube channel well i got suspended and so my channel was suspended as well so youtube uh, suspended my account but um yeah so I have to start a new channel and I have like you you are watching it on my channel so thank you for supporting me and I'm going to still make more videos I'm not going to stop um, my team is going to uh, make awesome videos for y'all guys do not worry we are still working hard to find some new interesting stuff for your Android device so please if you want some of that up i really recommend you to subscribe and i would also recommend you to read our blog which will be updated every day so thank you for watching i really recommend you to hit the like button there because it really helps us to make more videos for you all guys not only that please share the video if it was good and yeah please favorite it if it was kind of your favorite video so thank you for watching i hope this video helped you in many ways and See you in the next video and bye-bye. Droid Freaks.